The water people are crazy. It's amazing. You think of all, the, of all the topics that you could cover, you think, oh, you know, water is very benign, right? The prescriptive that comes out of the data, if you want to keep your cognitive and physical function best, it's an average, not every hour, an average of eight ounces for every hour up to 10 hours after you're awake. So that's 80 ounces during the daytime. But, yeah. And then less at night. People go, oh, you know, pH water doesn't change your body's pH. True, but there are some advantages to pH water, like it has minerals in it. Then people go, no, it's all about deuterium depleted water. Near the ocean, there's more deuterium in water. It not from ocean water and then people are like really into deuterium deplete water for cancer this is all these niche communities of water Osmo reverse osmosis water which has no magnesium or calcium and then it's like people are really into that people say that's terrible and then every free hydrogen water structured water and it's bananas and so the key thing is there's the galpin equation which is your body weight in pounds divided by 30 equals the number of ounces of water to drink for every 15 minutes you train like galpin's figured out that can improve performance like there's all this like water gets super geeky and i love it